Hey friends, how you doing today? Hey, beautiful day here in West Virginia on a Sunday. You know, a lot's going on in the in the country today. Our rights has been took from us pretty damn quick. You know, like Facebook. I put a post on there and all I put on there was, I said, I'm gonna predict the future. This Fauci character will commit suicide in the near future. Facebook took me off for 30 days, so that was hate speech. Now, I never said nothing hateful. I just said the man would commit suicide. And we all know it won't be him that commits suicide. It'll be the people that's afraid he's going to turn over on them. People like Obama, people like these high-ranking Democrats, people like Bill Gates, people like the guy that owns his Facebook. In other words, I guess what I'm saying is the people that note about this virus, note that even our American money went to China to make this virus. Now they call it gain of function, I call it traitors, been actually traitors to this country. To pay another country to make a, a virus so they could win this election, they could use it to just exactly what they did to make all these uh, absentee ballots, make it to where any damn body could vote, make it to where people was actually scared to go in, they closed the damn polls down for different reasons. But this COVID had it all fucked up. And they stole the election. And nobody, see, nobody cares, nobody big anyway. Everybody's scared to even say that this virus comes from China. This Fauci character, he knows where it comes from. He paid for it. You know, it's like along with Bill Gates. Do y'all know why Bill Gates is getting divorced? It ain't because of no damn other women or nothing. It's because he knows now that if Fauci goes to jail, his ass is gone too, along with these billions. So if he gets divorced, gives most of it to his wife, it's protected. Now think about that one for a while. Think about how many people's involved in this whole scheme. Now there's two people, two groups that hated Trump enough to do this. One was the top ranking Democrats. I'm not talking about these local Democrats. These people that think that they gotta be Democrats to keep getting their checks. I'm not them people, that they're too stupid to even worry about. I'm talking about your high ranking officials. And China, Trump is actually putting them in check. So the very two that had the motive to do it, they did it. Now they've killed how many people? Supposedly 500,000 in the United States, which I think that number is well exaggerated. I'm not saying people didn't die from COVID, but people die from other, other things too. But now it's spread around the world. India, look, it's, it's devastated them. A lot of other places. And our Democrat leadership right at the moment's not talking about making nobody responsible for this. They can't say that they want to make China responsible because they know China's going to say, hey, look, you all paid us to give this to you. You paid the bill to make this shit. Yeah, folks, that's what happened. And now it's time to pay the price. It's time to start the military tribunals. It's time to put the real president into office to clean house. You know, it's Facebook and your First Amendment. Now, black people can get on here and say whatever they want. Oh, we need to kill these whiteies. We need to do this. We need to do that. These Muslims can get on there. Oh, we need to kill every Israel, every Jew needs to die. That's fine and dandy. But an old white male say something, oh, it's hate speech, oh, it's hate speech. The president gets up and gives a speech, said the most dangerous thing in the world today, in the world, is an American white male. I didn't know that's fucking dangerous. Oh, damn, I must be living like white earth. All of us has to be. You know, folks, 
they're saying that black people ain't got the chances of a white man. And you know, I'm going to tell you something. That is facts. They didn't have the chance of white people. All on account of one branch of government or one form of, and that's the Democrats. Do you black people remember when you said that Joe Biden didn't want your black children in white schools? That you wasn't smart enough to be in with his kids, it'd be a jungle. We don't need no more of you blacks up here in Washington, D.C. We got enough of you. You know, who started the KKK? Biden said it was conservatives. Bullshit. If you're that fucking dumb, you're pitiful anyway. The Democrats has kept black people uneducated. They've tried to keep it on checks just to control them. And they only use them one time every two years. That's during election. But now they need them to start a war to keep all these Democrats from going to prison or the death sentence for spreading this virus around Look what Como did up in New York because he hated Trump. 10,000 people the man murdered. 10,000 older people he's in these nursing homes the man murdered and then wrote a fucking book on how good a job he did. I mean, a few people back and support people like this, you, you, you're just, you're not Americans. You know, you black people want to be equal to white people. Well, get off your ass and vote for people that'll give you a chance. That'll build schools that your children can get a good education. Not schools. And this is the way it works. And Democrats are proud of this. They are actually proud of saying, well, we're going to have two different test scores now. One for the smart white kids and one for the dumbass black kids. Because they're not as smart as white kids. Now, that's total bullshit. There's no difference between the minds of a black kid and a white kid, a Chinese kid. I mean, we got smart ones and dumb ones in all races, but we're all about equal. But boy, the Democrats don't want you to know that. What Biden say the other day about you black business people? Well, these ignorant ass people don't even know how to get a lawyer or a bookkeeper. That's exactly what he said in hillbilly terms. Does that make you proud that your president, the man that loves you, can say that about your whole race, that you're not smart enough? Bullshit, folks. Bullshit. This has got to stop. This race isn't bullshit. It was over with till Obama got in. Then he brought it up for no fucking reason whatsoever. And you know, the sad part about Obama is he's half white. Was that that white part of him wanting to bring this racism up, or was it the black part of him? So may answer that one. I'll tell you why he brought it up. The parry could get out of it. And what did he give you, black people? What does Joe Biden give you, black people, in 50 years? He doesn't want you in these white schools. He didn't want you in Washington, D.C. as politicians. He didn't want you educated. The Democrats, like they didn't want to let you vote. They kept you from voting, and Republicans finally, all Republicans, zero Democrats, voted for the right to give blacks the right to vote. But boy, if you heard Biden tell this story, well, now back in, I remember right, that uh, we, us Democrats, man, we stood up for you black people. Yeah, them old Republicans tried to keep you from voting. Us Democrats, we was for you. We ever one voted, hell no, you can't vote. But he'll twist that story along with the news media. You've got to be held accountable. I want to thank the federal judge out there in California for saying that AR-15 ain't nothing but just another damn weapon for the house. There ain't nothing fancy about it. It's got a fucking plastic stock on it. It looks funny. But it's no different from any other semi-automatic rifle. Any of you fools that have been in the service, you know that uh, there's a hell of a difference between AR-15 and a AR-16. Yeah, about 800 rounds a minute worth. But folks, our rights have been took away. Here in West Virginia, 
Now we're a little bit of a backwards state, supposedly. So let's start acting backwards. Mr. Justice, you're such a damn governor for the people. Suppose we got a bunch of Republicans in down there now as our House and Senate in Charleston. Let's make this a sanctuary state for the whole friggin' Constitution, for our Bill of Rights. The whole damn thing, not just pick out bits and pieces, the Second Amendment, the First Amendment. Let's make a whole damn thing. Let's make this a sanctuary state for it. Fuck the federal government. The federal government right now, the Democrats, are out to destroy all of us. And that includes you, Mr. Justice. That includes every person in this country. You're going to be a slave. You're going to be a socialist slave. They'll tell you where to go, where to work. They'll give you what they want to eat, which is going to be very damn little. And then they'll start killing older people. That's just a matter of time. When they take complete charge, older people ain't got a snowball chance in hell. And don't come across that shit all oh, they'll never do that. If they can kill a baby, what the hell you think an old person is? Maybe they'll let the babies live if they start killing the old off. So let's all wake up, folks. Let's all wake up. Me and my friends that watch this, share it to Facebook. This Zuckerberg character, he's a traitor to this country. He's probably the biggest traitor right now in this country. He wants to keep our speech oppressed. Let anybody else in the world say anything they want to say. No matter what it is. But boy, when a white person speaks out, whole Zuckerberg goes crazy, man. Can't let you all talk. Took our president out of Facebook for two fucking years. For no reason whatsoever. Trump never caused no damn right on January 6th, wasn't no right. He's fucking police up there in Washington, D.C. It was all made up to welcome these people right on in, to make it look like that they did this. And it worked for them. And you know the sad point? Nobody questions it. Nobody, oh God, that's the way it was. Nobody talks about when the, this Supreme Court judge was up there and they led these people right into the fucking chambers then. But that was okay, that was Democrats. God, them old peace-loving fucking Democrats. God bless you. Say a prayer for the country. If you got enough balls to share this video, share it. If you don't, you ain't much of a fucking person anyway. If you're scared to offend your neighbor over the way that you believe, then, then you really don't believe. If you go to church and you're scared to tell a Democrat that he ain't no way in hell he's going to heaven supporting this bullshit that's going on in this country, then you ain't a Christian either. That's life, folks. Get used to it. You know, if you don't stand for something, you fall for everything. Just remember that. So God bless you. Probably be off YouTube for a while too. But uh, I'll say what I can for as long as I can. And I hope to God people wakes up. I hope to God we don't become a socialist nation and slaves. It's going to be hard on those people that's been free for a long time. It's going to be very hard. So West Virginia, make us a sanctuary state for all of it. Some of the other states think about the same thing. Even the cities. Let's do this. Let's take America back. If it's one town at a time, let's take it back. God bless you.